everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching i hope you all are doing well and if you're new here my channel is all about fragrance fashion and lifestyle so subscribe if that's something that you're interested in and i'm so excited for today's video because today's video is going to be an affordable fragrance haul um so yeah if you're on a little bit of a budget these fragrances are going to be perfect for you i got all of these fragrances from fragrance x and this video is not sponsored by them i just bought my fragrances from there and i'm really happy with all of the products that i got and this top is from sheen so i might just do a sheen haul let me know if you guys want to see a video where i just show the sheen products that i got we have a few celebrity fragrances and we also have the lancome oud bouquet dupe as well as a bakra rouge 540 dupe in this little collection so i'm super excited to share it with you guys i will also link my instagram down below and without further ado let's get started okay so let's start with one of my favorites first and this one i'm literally obsessed with the packaging ah it's so pretty um this one is amber oud rouge from el haramain look how pretty the box is guys it's like this red suede velvety material on the inside and this one is actually a tube for Baccarat Rouge 540. Look how cute the bottle is. It's 60 ml and yeah, this one is Amber Oud Rouge. Guys, I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorites. You definitely get that medicinal kind of almost like a latex glove vibe with this fragrance, but you definitely also get the burnt sugar, which is like the iconic Baccarat Rouge 540 scent. This one, um, from all of the reviews I've watched, people have said that this is literally like 90 to 95% similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as the Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. So you definitely can't go wrong with this one. And it's an affordable fragrance. It's literally such an amazing fragrance for the price. It lasts literally the whole day. But yeah, the opening is definitely kind of like that fresh medicinal vibe like i said but then when it dries down it becomes more warm more sexy more um like you get that burnt sugar vibe it's just delicious it's the caramelized sugar it's a little bit of a medicinal vibe but mostly sweet warm and very like luxurious and classy but also sexy so definitely try Al Haramein Amber Oud Rouge. So the next one is also quite a popular one. And this one is Shahaf Oud by Swiss Arabian. Now this one is actually a dupe for Lancome Oud Bouquet. And this one is your vanilla, your oud, your rose, your praline kind of scent. So if you were looking for a dupe for that fragrance, this is a fragrance to try out. As you guys can see, it's a very like shiny gold bottle. Personally to me, yeah, I think from the bottle, it smells very rich, almost a little bit powdery, luxurious. I think it's a little bit unisex, like both men and women will be able to pull this off. But it is so, so strong. Like the longevity, the sillage, the projection, it is insane. Like I, list, I literally tested this on like a little tester strip and my room smelled like this for days. So very strong very potent if you like oud and praline a little bit of rose this is going to be the fragrance that you have to go for personally for me i don't really like oud fragrances as of yet i think that's something that comes with time i'm assuming uh, but for me it's a little bit too strong and a little bit too uh, overpowering and the oud and stuff is a bit um not my style yet so if you were looking for an affordable alternative to lancome oud bouquet and you love oud and praline and vanilla a little bit of rose then this is the fragrance that you have to go for if you want to smell rich and luxurious and very fancy definitely try shahaf oud by swiss arabian so guys the next one is actually one of my favorites and i was quite surprised by this fragrance and it's jessica simpson fancy now obviously this is a celebrity fragrance and it's really affordable but it actually does smell fancy and this one if i smell it straight from the cap it literally reminds me of viva la juicy gold couture by juicy couture literally smells exactly the same but when you spray it you definitely get a little bit more of the pear the apricot the fruitiness this one also has caramel this one has almond it has vanilla it's just very like delicious yummy and feminine uh, the only complaint that i have with this one is the longevity um, because like the initial like first hour or so it smells absolutely divine 
um, but after that it does fade quite quickly unfortunately i love the opening notes a little bit more than the dry down so i kind of wish it would stay like that throughout the whole experience um, but i think you can't go wrong with this one this one is so easy to throw on it's literally a crowd pleaser very safe fragrance you can wear it anywhere and it smells amazing so if you're on a little bit of a budget and you want to smell luxurious and fancy but also feminine and yummy and classy try jessica simpson fancy and guys this bottle is so cute like i think it would look so cute in a perfume display or on your vanity very cute so the next fragrance is also actually a celebrity fragrance and it's love by sofia vergara and this one guys i was really surprised by this fragrance i really think it's amazing for the price points and a lot of people compare this with black opium because it does have the similar notes of coffee of vanilla and orange blossom uh, but this one is a little bit more feminine to me it's a little bit more classy and also just a little bit more womanly like i feel like black opium smells a lot younger even though this is definitely still a young fragrance i feel like this one is just more suited for like all ages but yeah it just smells very like modern chic uh classy and womanly it's a good fragrance and look how cute the bottle is guys i just think it's so pretty so yeah another great affordable fragrance this one the longevity is also not amazing i think you'll get about three hours from this one uh, but it's just easy to throw on very likable um, you know very inoffensive and just very delicious smelling feminine modern and chic that's how i would describe it so yeah if you're looking for another affordable fragrance definitely try love by sofia vergara so the next one is also a very well-known affordable fragrance and it's aqualina pink sugar um, i just had to try it out it was just one of those things that i had to see what the hype was about um, so this one is very sweet it has caramel it has uh, cotton candy strawberry raspberry just literally a sugar bomb uh, it definitely doesn't smell expensive like the previous ones you might actually get fooled into thinking like that this is an expensive fragrance even though it's very very affordable i think they cost about the same uh, but this one definitely smells cheaper and i would also say it smells a lot younger i would say it's perfect for teenagers or people in their early 20s um, if you love sugar if you want to smell sweet and like candy this is going to be the fragrance to go for but personally for me this is not my type of fragrance it's just a little bit too sweet it's too much i kind of get a headache when i wear it i would rather opt for something like viva la juicy gold couture that one is a little bit more flirty sexy and girly uh, while having the caramel and like edible factor but this one is just very very sweet like almost too sweet it's a little bit too sweet for me but like i said if that's something that you're into uh, and you need an affordable fragrance maybe you should try the pink sugar by aquilina so the next one is not really an affordable fragrance um, but i got a tester so technically it was affordable and it's still with the fragrance x haul so i'm just going to review it as well and it's angel muse um, by mugler this one is the edp i got this one with the hopes that i would smell creamy like nutella that's what everyone says like creamy nutella chocolatey goodness um, because i really do enjoy gourmand fragrances so i was quite excited about this one but this one does not smell like chocolate so if you're getting this one with the hopes that you're going to smell like nutella or chocolate don't get this one uh, this one is the edp like i said but i think maybe the edt will smell more gourmand because i think that one has notes of like caramel and chocolate and hazel cocoa spread um i don't know i haven't tried that one if you've tried the edt let me know in the comments below if it actually does smell a bit more chocolatey then i'll maybe try it out as well um but this one smells like a hot cup of some spicy type of tea it's definitely a winter fragrance very unique uh, i think it's a little bit more mature as well and it's definitely the type of fragrance that has to grow on you because the first time i sprayed it i wasn't really fond of it but then i found myself sniffing myself over and over because i started liking it a little bit more and a little bit more uh, this one i think smells a little bit better from far away but closer up to the skin you really get the like the patchouli and the vetiver and like the strong stuff um, so this one is just basically like a very woody earthy kind of scent it does have hazel cocoa spread as a note but i don't really get any chocolate from this fragrance so like i said if you're hoping to get this fragrance for the chocolate scent don't get it um, it's more sexy and a um, little bit more mature a little bit more cozy almost for winter 
yeah but overall i think it's a nice fragrance i think it's very unique so it can go as a signature scent or like a great signature like winter scent um but it's not like an everyday fragrance i won't wear this every day and yeah it's not as sweet or gourmand as i somehow expected it to be so maybe i'll try the edt as well let me know what you guys think um but yeah this one is angel Beams by Mugler. if you're looking for something unique warm spicy woody earthy Try Angel Muse EDP by Mugler. Okay, so the last one is kind of more like a bonus one. And this one is the Alien Body Lotion. I was so surprised with this fragrance in a good way. I absolutely love it. It is so strong. You can actually wear this by itself. And people will think you're wearing the actual Alien perfume. I do have the Alien perfume. As you can see, it's behind me there. I absolutely love the fragrance. So usually you'd use the lotion with the fragrance to make the fragrance last a little bit longer and to make it project a little bit stronger because the lotion just really helps the fragrance to stick to your skin um so i think it's an amazing um add-on if you already own alien but even if you don't have alien and you wanted like a really nice body lotion you should actually try this one out because it's strong enough you almost don't need the fragrance with this like i can literally wear this by itself and i will smell yummy and i will just smell like alien it smells exactly like the Alien fragrance. Obviously a tad, a bit of a lotion-y scent, but for the most part, this is Alien and it's incredible. So if you just got out of the shower, you want some lotion to put on your hands or your arms or wherever, this is definitely something really nice to wear and it also makes you look very glowy. So yeah, and it's quite affordable. Obviously it costs a lot less than actual perfume, but the scent itself is that of the actual perfume and the projection and the longevity is also amazing. So definitely try the Alien Body Lotion by Mugler. So yeah guys, that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you like videos about fragrance, fashion and lifestyle. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below what other video topics you guys would like to see me talk about. And I will also link my Instagram in the description box. So I'll see you guys in the future with another video. Bye guys.